Hello everyone, it's Miss Lisa, and as promised, I am here to teach you how to make your own bubble solution. And I make several different types of bubble solutions, but the one that I'm going to make with you today is really easy to make. I have my assistant here blowing bubbles to add some special effects to it. Um, but this one's really easy to make and some of the ingredients are interchangeable. Whoa, look at that one. So I am going to show you how to do this on your own. And I will also include in words on the side the different ingredients that you will need to make this recipe. So here is my homemade bubble solution. I use a water bottle that my children have because it's easier to shake up. Um, this one, I'm gonna make a little fancier because we're on we're on YouTube, so let's make it fun and fancy. Okay, so the things you will need to make this recipe are a tablespoon measuring spoon, a half of table measuring spoon, or two teaspoons, and a one cup measurer, which is equal to eight ounces. Now, if you have a bottle that has markings with ounces or um, liters, you could use that as well. Now, for ingredients, you will need, I'm going to go under my table to get these, distilled water, tap water will suffice. It won't be as good as the distilled water, but it will work. And then you will need blue dish detergent. There's a certain brand that I prefer. Um, the Ultra does not work as well as the regular. This is Ultra, but that's all I had at home. But you can use any dish detergent you have. It doesn't matter. Um, and then glycerin or corn syrup. So you can combine anything that you have as long as you have the three ingredients. Water, either glycerin or corn syrup, and some type of dish detergent. All right, hand soap will not work, but dish detergent will. Okay, then the other tool that is optional, you don't have to have it, is a funnel. Funnels make it neater. And then I'm using a fancy bottle that someone donated to me do these little library projects. All right, so here we go. So I always pour over my funnel just because I'm kind of messy and I spill a lot. So um, we're gonna do the soap first and I'll explain why. My secret helper is going to pass me all of my ingredients. So if I look like an octopus, it's because I have an extra set of hands. All right, so let's put our one tablespoon of dish detergent in, it's taking a while because I'm doing this in real time. As I said in my last video, I like to do everything in real time because I feel that it's nice to be able to do it along with the person and not speed it up. So, and this isn't a short video anyway, so. All right, so now I'm going to dump that in. And now what I'll do is when I put my glycerin in, I will show you a trick that I'm going to do so I don't waste any of my dish detergent. I need to put my glycerin in. So this is a half of a tablespoon of glycerin. Okay, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon. All right, and again, if you don't have glycerin, you may use corn syrup. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'm going to put my distilled water in. I have one cup I have to add. What I'm going to do is Fill my cup over the funnel, as I said I would do, but I'm not going to pour it all in at once, and I'll tell you why. So I'm gonna leave half of it in, and then I'm going to rinse out my spoon. Why waste all this Dawn, right? As I mentioned in another video, I really don't like wasting things. I spilled a tiny bit. Okay, let's do the glycerin. Okay, I've rinsed all the glycerin. And now, I'm going to put this all together. So now it's all in there. And it's not bubble solution until we mix it up. Because remember, these are all separate chemical ingredients. The water being one of two, has two ingredients. And then the Dawn has several ingredients. See that big bubble? And then the glycerin is on another ingredient. So it won't become a solution until we mix it all up. So we're gonna mix it all up. Isn't it beautiful? Neat, huh? Pretty. That's why I like to use the blue, Dawn, because you see the color and it's really pretty and it's nice. 
All right, so that's done. There it is. You have homemade bubble solution in five minutes. Um, one thing I will do, just because I think that everything that is in a clear bottle without a label is dangerous, so we will label this. I put a little fancy label that says bubble solution. 417 2020 there we go and this will be ready in a few days that's why i put the date on it and when it's ready we will have really cool bubbles to blow and i will come back and i'll show you some on my next story time but here's my solution i made earlier today it's still super foamy so i'll take one of my handy dandy craft sticks and i'll blow some of the foam off and my assistant here is going to blow some bubbles with this. All right, assistant, help me out. It's so foamy. All right, it's a little too foamy still. Let's do one. Let's let's do one from here. There we go. And there you have bubble solution. All right. So I will see you back next week for another fun Friday, and we'll have another fun. Uh, icky, sticky, gross thing to share with you.